How you doing everyone? Uh, it's Kevin. I'm back with another video here. Uh, I'm going to give you a tour of the Mini Barn Dominium and uh, let you know a little bit more information about it. We paid 75000 total for the house, uh, for the whole build, but that was with a lot of hard work. It starts off, the whole structure is 50 by 24, and that's a total of uh, 1,200 square feet. But once we get inside, the living quarters is 24 by 40, so we got 600 or 960 square foot once we get inside. So when we get inside, first thing we're going to see is those nice, tall ceilings. Okay, as you step in, you uh, have the high ceilings. We just did the front of the house in Cathedral. You're looking at a beam right there. That beam is not finished. There's no trim finished in this house at all because we're building all of our own trim. Uh, we're doing that on the sawmill, and it'll go through the the shop and we'll build the trim you see there's no baseboards anywhere you look uh, that is the living room uh, now this room combined with the kitchen is about 24 foot by 16 foot and uh, the high ceilings really make it nice it makes it look so much bigger and when you step in you're looking at it from outside and you step in it's like it's big it, it don't look that big from outside but it is uh, this is the kitchen uh, straight across from the living room there. It makes it so much easier when you need a drink or something to eat. Uh, you don't have far to go. And with the open concept really made it nice. As you can see, we put a peninsula out there in the floor because there's not a lot of room in here. We don't have a kitchen table. Most of our eating and preparing is done on that island right there. Um, this whole entire build had to be built by code so everything you see was inspected and done by code uh, a lot of hard work a lot of late nights uh, but we got it finished the cabinets and everything were definitely something that julie wanted in the house and uh, i made sure she got it um, this is a cherry wood with a black whiskey glaze and that's the pantry in the corner somebody made a smart remark saying it looked like a an outhouse well you know i'd rather you keep them to yourself but any comment will do we used the barn wood this wood came from menards uh, to do underneath of the uh, peninsula there in the pantry uh, which kind of just threw it off a little bit which that's what we like now we did a laminate floor this is actually um, vinyl flooring. This is waterproof flooring uh, we put down. And it was great for the heated floors. And as you can see, as you go down through here, there's still no trim. There's no trim on the outside of the doors. That's all going to be black walnut. And uh, we have it cut, but it takes at least a year for it to dry. Maybe a little longer. So we got a little while. We're going to do the, the all the rooms on the right first. We'll start with the first one. This will be your bathroom. As you come into the bathroom, we use pocket doors. Pocket doors were great because they don't take up any space. And if you guys remember, we did the mirror video where we built a mirror that you see over the sink there. And of course, you have a fan in there for your bathroom. And here's your shower. Nice big shower. Now, as you notice, there's no transitions in this house. When you go through a door, there's not a transition. You Very, very small transitions. And um, here I am showing that light in that mirror. That was a pretty nice little build. We enjoyed doing it. <clears throat> now, we do have uh, doors, as you'll see on the back here. Now, if you wonder what that is, that's so you can get into your shower you got to be able to change them faucets out. So the shower has its own little light right there. And the shower itself is something I really like a lot. This shower is four foot wide and five feet long. And we, we had them do the floor. Uh, that floor, there's no shower pan. It's actually built right into the floor. Nice tall shower. Chair makes it nice too. If Julie wants to shave her legs, she got a place to put her feet. It's really nice. 
If you notice on the bottom of this door, you never near get no water in the uh, room. That rug has never been wet, got any water on it at all. There's a trough that goes all the way along that door. If that door was soaking wet right now, it, all that water would be going right back into the shower. And as you see, there's not really a transition in the shower either. The rug is actually taller than the transition. But this was one of my proudest uh, uh, builds there because I that was the first time I ever done laid any towel. That towel was all me and Julie done it pretty much by ourselves. Ricky gave us a little hand there, and that was the first time. So let's uh, move on out to another room. As you can see, there's no trim on that door. There is some black walnut on the inside of there. We got. We'll go out here and we're gonna close this pocket door, which we like a lot because. Like I said, they take up no space. The, you know, we couldn't use the pocket doors on the bedroom doors because, uh, you know, there's no room in that wall to slide it because you had to frame for the other pocket door. Okay, this is the first bedroom. Now, uh, these bedrooms are 10 by 11 foot. So they're about 10 foot uh, by 11 foot. And it's not a bad size. Um, and they, they work good for us. No problems at all. We have no issues. So we put TVs in the wall, uh, on the walls in both bedrooms. If you notice, there's no wires anywhere. Uh, we made sure that everything was set up so we didn't have to worry about wires hanging down. Smoke alarms. You see each door has a smoke alarm above it. And there's actually one in the hallway too. Uh, these closets that we had right there, as you can see off to your right, if I was going to change something about the build, those closets would have been definitely one thing I would have changed. We're going to go down here into the laundry room, and uh, I'm going to show you here. There's another thing I would have liked to have changed in it, too. So as you get around the door here, this is the floor heat and the heat for the shower. So the little tank up there on the side is your shower on demand and that is your floor heat and I'm, I've been amazed at how well this has worked out a lot of people talked about well somebody asked how come you don't have that many windows well windows you need wall space in a small uh, build you you need all the wall space you can get so windows are just basically taking up space they allow heat to escape cold air to come in and that less room you have so this is another thing we'd like to change is this closet. This closet, when we built it, we didn't realize how big the freezer would be on the side of it. So if that closet came straight out with the door straight on, it would make a much more sense. So that would probably be something that we change. The wash tub here, man, makes it nice. When you come in, you're in the garage, you can wash your hands there. Uh, these rooms are all basically about the same. They're about... Uh, they're nine foot, uh, almost ten foot, but they're they're eleven foot by, uh, let's say ten by eleven each room. You can see how that closet goes back in there. It don't allow you enough room to get in there. So this is the last bedroom. This is where I do all my work. This is where I'm at right now, talking to Yins. Um, and like I said, these rooms we didn't need them to be that big. It's not like we do a lot in them. Uh, you know, I do do my videos back in here, but uh, other than that, they're just sleeping quarters. Uh, another thing, like I said, those closets, I would have changed them closets and made just two and made them a little bit deeper. Well, they were working for us, but they could have been changed. So we'll move on back out here, and I wanted to show you guys... Uh, Above the uh, kitchen cabinets, uh, I know um, if you come on out in here, I turned the lights out. So we put LED lights above the kitchen cabinets, which is pretty cool. At night, it just kind of glows, and I thought for sure uh, the, the amount of time it took us to build this build... Uh, I thought that drywall, it took us nine days to do the drywall mud, and uh, that was amazing. We did the whole house in like nine days. 
and there's really no defects that you can see. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. Um, I would like to tell everyone thanks for watching the video. And don't forget to subscribe. Leave me thumbs up, thumbs down, or comment if you'd like. Until next time.